So much stuff. <laughs> Today, I wanted to record a video showing all the stuff that I got in the last two weeks because I got like so much stuff. It's kind of ridiculous. But these are all things that I really, really wanted to um, try out. And this is all um, stuff that I got from the drugstore because I like things pretty cheap. So, um, yeah, I was actually even pretty surprised that they had some of these things um, in the places that I went. So I just wanted to show them. Along the lines of makeup, I, I mostly got makeup. I think about 90% of this is makeup. So the first item that I got is um, Rimmel Stay Matte. I've heard a lot of these, a lot of good things about these. Um, I saw, who was it? I forget who talked about it. I think it was Emily Noel talked about this one and she seemed to like it I think and I thought this would be fun to try so I think I might try it like first impressions of it and record that in the next video. So I got it in the shade light porcelain. I, I think this might be a little bit too light for me but I was just going to test it out and maybe make it darker if it is too light. The next two things I got we were um, kind of a, a new thing for me. I'm not really, um, I haven't tried a lot of primers lately. I think I've tried one in the past that felt kind of like, kind of weird. Like it, it felt really weird on my skin and I don't really think it did what I wanted it to. And I have very oily skin in the summer. In the winter, it's kind of combo. I think I get mostly really oily like right there. I also like to try to find primers that have a little bit of green in them. This is the um, e.l.f. I guess it's a new product mineral face primer. It's um, green tinted and it's supposed to melt right into your skin so it's not supposed to make you look like a Grinch or something. Um, and this one is I guess they're a regular one. It says it's clear, so, um, and these are both pretty cheap. I think they're like four or five dollars, I believe. I got some brush shampoo. This, um, I've been actually kind of looking for something that can really clean my makeup brushes really well, but also, you know, make them not have any of the fibers or whatever fall out while I'm cleaning them, which I find is quite common along pretty much every sh brush shampoo that I've seen. So I think this might be pretty good. The next thing I'm super excited for because I I don't really buy a whole lot of um, Almay products because they tend to be closer to um, higher end and I don't know, I guess I just don't really hear anybody talk about it. And these are the eye kits for blue eyes. One is the um, Bold Nudes. This one is the Smoky Eye for blues. I'm really excited because these are supposed to have really good pigmentation. So I also want to do maybe a first impressions on these or a review type thing. The next couple things are something I'm like even more excited about because I have heard so much about NYX products, or NYX, I don't even know what the proper pronunciation is, but I've heard most people say NYX, and also they've talked a lot about these jumbo eye pencils. This one is in Sparkle Nude. I don't know if it's focusing here, just still learning the focus on my um, iPod. This one is yogurt, and I believe that there's um, one called cottage cheese or something. It's like this really, really weird name, um, and it's also one that people rave about a lot. So I was really excited to try these, and I think these are really um, up my alley. The next product I want to talk about is um, another NYX product. It's the eyeshadow base. This one, I'm not really sure about because I think it might be a little bit darker for my skin tone. 
It says it's skin tone, but I don't actually know what they base that on. I think it's kind of like a medium shade, possibly. I tend to get kind of oily eyelids, so I I really have been looking for something that'll um, keep the eyeshadow on and then make the eyeshadow more intense. I also picked up some more color tattoo eyeshadows. These, <laughs> these have been kind of my weakness. I think, oh gosh, I maybe even have a dozen or so already. I heard they had a new collection out. They have um, a nude collection, I believe it's called Dare to Go Nude or something. And they have kind of brown tones. And I really, really, really wanted to try some of these. And this one is in 100 Caramel Cool. And this one is in 95 Sleek and Spice. To me, this one seems a little bit like a combination of the bronze one and the taupe kind of mixed together. I think that's kind of what they were going for. Um, yeah, that's really going to be exciting to play with. I think, again, I want to do a uh, review on these. So look out for that pretty soon. <laughs> I forgot about this one. This this is a, um, my other NYX product that I got. And I hear a ton of people talking about this on t YouTube. I don't even know who talks about this the most. I think um, Ingrid talks about NYX, these glosses a lot. This is called NYX Butter Gloss. And this one is in Eclair. And again, I'm really excited that this is, um, that I could find this in uh, Meyer, I believe. And I thought you could only get them like out west. I think they were kind of like a trend, like out that way. And I thought, oh, I'm never gonna be able to get NYX. Well, apparently I can now, so I'm really excited. I have a Rimmel Natural Bronzer. This is the shade Sunshine. I think this is the lightest one. I hope it is because I have really fair skin and I <laughs> it's really hard to find one that doesn't make me look really orange or um, it's kind of the happy medium because it just usually just makes me look like a clown. <laughs> and that's kind of the, the same thing as a, um, when I try to find blushes. I try to find ones that are more like orange shades but they end up being too orange or too bright or something. And so I'm pretty excited. I have this, um, I used to have the Stay Matte Transparent Powder, the setting powder, I believe. And I wanted to go look for a bronzer that would be light enough for my skin. So I'm going to try that. Speaking of blushes, I got these clearance Revlon, I don't even know what they're called, like what this line is called. I think it's just their typical blushes, and this one is 006 Naughty Nude. <laughs> That's a funny name. And it looks like this, like, barely even there. Maybe even a little bit, like, mauve-y? I'm not even sure. It's hard to tell from this, but I'm looking forward to this. And I also got Melon Drama. <laughs> I really love these names. These are hilarious. And this is more of like a pinker tone, I think. So, another one I'm looking forward to. This one is going to be kind of an experience. Uh, experience. <laughs> like experiment. Um, I used to have a Revlon eyebrow pencil, I believe. And I have really crazy eyebrows. Um, I think I kind of got into the whole like over plucking them and I never was able to kind of shape them back into the shape that I want and they're also very sparse and I thought I would try this one. It's um, you know one of the cheaper brands, the cheaper lines. It's Maybelline Expert Wear Twin Brow and Eye Pencils and this is the shade I think that would work most with my hair color. It's 104 light brown. So much to talk about. So excited. If you know who I'm quoting, you are awesome. The next one is kind of an interesting shade of eyeshadow. It's 
It's kind of like um, an iridescent green a little bit. It's uh, a Revlon, no, Maybelline. Maybelline eyeshadow. That's not really picking that up very well. It's um, kind of got some yellow tones in it. So it'll be interesting, I think, because I tend to um, find shades more in the pink tones or purple. So this will be interesting. Oh, and this shade is called Forest Green. This one, this one I'm not really sure about. I, this one is a CoverGirl um, Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss, ooh, that's hard to say, Jumbo Gloss Balm. It's in the shade Coral Twist, and oh, there was a girl on YouTube that talked about this, and she doesn't really make videos that much anymore. I don't know, she kind of was not really into posting videos, I guess, but she talked about these, like, all the time, and I've really wanted to try these for a while, so I finally got it because it was on sale, and normally they're, like, seven dollars, and I wasn't really interested in buying a lip gloss type thing for seven dollars, so, um, yeah, that's gonna be kind of cool, I think. All right, the next thing is, um, a Physician's Formula product. And I would, like, never, ever consider buying Physician's Formula without a coupon. Because their stuff is really expensive. It's like, I mean, I suppose their products are really good. And they're supposed to be really good for your skin. But I never really thought about buying anything um, without a really decent coupon. And I found, um, I got these at my local CVS. They have um, a good bit of stock there. I think, for the most part, they're kind of the average amount for Physician's Formula in any kind of drugstore. I think Walmart has a little bit more, and I think Walmart's prices may be a little bit cheaper, um, but I ended up getting $7 off Physician's Formula, so I'm pretty excited. This is the Tinted moisture Moisturizer SPF 15. Um, this is in the shade Light to Natural. All right, we're almost there. Okay, the next one is the Elf 32 Piece Eyeshadow Palette. And this has kind of some interesting shades. I was really interested in um, the fact that this has shimmer and kind of a matte finish also in here. Um, and I don't think I've seen anybody talk about this palette, or really palettes in general, um, from Elf. I think they tend to be not as good as some of the other stuff you can get from the cheaper side of things. So I am looking forward to this. I think I'm going to probably, I'm, I think I want to do this one in maybe a future tutorial if I get to really liking this. So, And uh, please let me know if I'm doing an okay job at focusing. Um, again, I'm just really trying to find out what works best with um, my lighting in my house and the voice volume that I'm using. I mean, just even basic stuff. So just let me know if I'm doing an okay job at focusing. Um, I think it's doing pretty well, actually. I'm pretty impressed. This next thing is a uh, perfume. It's like a, a coffee brand of Bath and Body Works. They're Japanese cherry blossom. I used to have a lotion, I think, of this, and I really liked it. And I don't know why I didn't get more stuff of it, because I really like the scent. It's very florally, and it's very... It can be overpowering if you put on too much. Well, it's actually a really pretty bottle. And to be honest, that's probably one of the main things that drew me to it. Um, I think this version is like $2, at least the clearance price was $2. And look at that! Isn't that so cool looking? I just love that, that metal looking band on there. <laughs> this video is going to be like 20 minutes long. But oh well. The next thing is another thing I've heard about on YouTube. Um, it's the Batiste Dry Shampoo. It's their floral and flirty scent. 
which, I mean, to be honest, I have no idea what that actually even means, um, besides just kind of smelling florally. This one was um, really on sale, and I normally wouldn't have bought like the original full on size, um, again, because this tends to be more of the higher end brand. Um, and I think I saw this from Ingrid, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, and I thought the bottle was really cute too. <laughs> I'm kind of sucker for um, really cute packaging. Oh my gosh, I love nail polish. I think I'm going to do a video about my nail polish collection possibly because I have kind of gotten quite a few over the last couple years and um, yeah, I think I want to do a nail polish collection or maybe even um, a review on a particular one. And this one is China Glaze and look at that color. I don't even know if it, this, this kind of shows it, but I mean it's like this multicolor blue and purple. This color is called All Wrapped Up. And I don't know if this is like a discontinued version, but um, this was really clear. It's just, you know, like half price or something. So, yeah, pretty excited about this one. I guess I'm saying that about everything, but I'm just, I don't know. I just have really wanted to get into some really good makeup products lately. Um, and then also, because I've started my new YouTube, I kind of have wanted to get into more product reviews and, and demos and talk about the products that I really like using. This is the Color Show holographic version. And I think they have um, another one, another kind, that like you have to apply it in a certain way to make it like the full effect, but this one, I just thought this one was really cool. It's like a silvery, purpley, gray kind of color. This one is in the shade Blue Blaze. That's a cool name, I think. I think it would be really fun to name products. I think that would be like, if I were in the makeup kind of field, I think that would be one of the, the funnest things to do is to come up with names for products. I wonder how much people that do that job, I wonder how much they make. The next three things actually are um, jewelry type items. Um, I love jewelry. I I love earrings. I actually am getting kind of a big collection. Um, and I think it would be kind of fun because I really like watching um, jewelry collections on YouTube. And they're actually kind of relaxing. I don't know why. I just... They're, I don't know, they're just really nice to watch. And watch, that's kind of funny. I'm going to talk about my watch. <laughs> okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, I love purple. It is my absolute favorite color. And I found this at Walmart. These are um, ombre... Ombre watches, they, I remember like last summer, I think it was, um, ombre was like the thing to do, is to make everything into ombre, and this, I thought was really cool, it, it, um, it's kind of a standard old style arm band watch thing, I don't even know, <laughs> I'm horrible describing stuff, but, you know, whatever. I like this really mainly because of its price. It's like one of the super, super cheap ones that they have kind of along the wall there. Um, I think it was like seven eighty eight. Really, really cheap. But I really like it. It's my like new favorite thing. The next thing, I don't know if anybody saw on my Instagram, whoever's following me. Um, and I suppose I could even leave a link in the video description of all my social media le links, so um, I think I'm going to do that, and follow me if you want. I mean, you don't have to, but obviously, um, that would be kind of cool, because then you could see um, maybe spare the moment purchases and um, other random things like that that are like beauty related, and I think I might even um, create an Instagram that's just for beauty or maybe even linked to my YouTube because 
that's kind of the focus of my YouTube, at least of, at this point. And this is my headband. I really, <laughs> I really, really like headbands. I kind of used to have them, like, oh my gosh, so many headbands when I was little. And this one, I don't know if you could see on there, it's kind of rose, rose gold. And that's another one of my favorite things lately. Mm, you can kind of tell, it's kind of gold. And this one was really cheap too. And <laughs> when I wear this, I kind of think of, um, Oh, April Athena Seven. She really, really loves headbands, and I was watching her one day, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I want to get my own headbands again, and ones that are kind of um, I, how should I say, fashion forward, <laughs> ones that look like they're not like for little girls. Although this can be kind of cute too, I suppose. The last thing in terms of jewelry is. That's really interesting bracelet that I got. It's just gorgeous. I mean, the, the colors in this bracelet are just really amazing. Um, and it's this uh, wrap style bracelet thing. Well, it kind of snaps, but it doesn't go like all the way around. It just goes like that. And um, it's kind of expensive. Um, this is one of the ones I was really debating on getting, but I decided I really like it, and I don't really have anything like it. I haven't ever had anything like it, really, and I've been getting more into bracelets lately, and um, I think that's about it. Hi, guys. I just realized that after I finished the video um, from earlier that I had forgotten to actually finish the video, <laughs> so um, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching that. I know it's kind of going to be a long video, so if you watched all the way through, that's really awesome. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I really am planning on the next couple of weeks or so, or really even a couple of months, of uh, maybe doing more product reviews, I think, with all the stuff that I got, and um, I really enjoyed filming it, so, yep. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.